Step back in time with us as we explore a classic movie from 1959. Featuring some of Hollywood's beloved actors, we want to know who stole the show for you. Stick around for some surprising, funny, and even sad facts about this film. There's a scene or moment that might really stick with you. Don't forget to share your own stories about this movie. We're eager to hear from you. And if you're enjoying what you see, don't forget to show some love by hitting that like button. More movie highlights are coming your way soon. In 1959, A Hole in the Head hit the screens, a comedy drama directed by Frank Capra. The storyline revolves around a widower in Miami Beach, played by Frank Sinatra, who faces financial struggles with his ramshackle hotel. Hoping to secure a loan, he contemplates marrying a young widow for her wealth. The cast, including Edward G. Robinson and Eleanor Parker, delivers decent performances, with young Eddie Hodges standing out. However, despite memorable tunes like High Hopes, the film falls short of its potential, lacking in both emotional depth and comedic punch. While Capper infuses the narrative with his signature eccentric characters, the overall execution feels lackluster. Despite its flaws, A Hole in the Head remains a noteworthy entry in Capra's filmography, albeit not one of his finest. It's a film that may appeal to fans of Sinatra or those seeking light-hearted entertainment, but for newcomers to Capra's work, there are better introductions to his repertoire. Frank Sinatra stepped into a role originally intended for Marlon Brando in the film The Pride and the Passion. Eleanor Parker's wedding with Paul Clemens took place at the Hollywood Methodist Church on Thanksgiving Day. Sinatra's directorial debut came with the anti-war drama Nun, but The Brave, a collaboration between Toho Studios and Warner Brothers Pictures. Sinatra's foray into directing showcased his versatility behind the camera. Frank Sinatra, at the age of 28, welcomed his second child, Francis Wayne Sinatra, with his first wife, Nancy Barbato Sinatra. This event marked a significant personal milestone for Sinatra, occurring well before his involvement in the film that showcased his talents beyond music. The production company behind this film, Syncap, represents a creative blend of Sinatra's and director Frank Capra's last names. Despite suggestions for the name Two Franks, Syncap was chosen, reflecting the partnership between the two Franks involved in its creation. The film's song High Hopes gained notable recognition, earning a nomination among the American Film Institute's 24 list of 400 movies for America's greatest music in the movies. This nomination highlights the film's contribution to the cinematic and musical landscape, underscoring the enduring appeal of its soundtrack. Isn't it fascinating how someone's setbacks can lead to incredible comebacks? Take, for example, a certain individual in the entertainment industry. Despite facing vocal cord issues in 1953, he returned to the stage with even more impressive singing skills, much to the joy of his fans. Hosting the Oscars four times added to his legacy, showcasing his versatility beyond his musical talents. Interestingly, his retirement announcement coincided with a prestigious humanitarian award, underscoring his commitment to giving back. These anecdotes highlight the remarkable journey of those involved in this timeless classic. Ten-year-old Eddie split the $25,000 grand prize with future astronaut and American hero major John Glenn as his teammate after successfully appearing on a very popular episode of the TV game show named that tune on October 4, 1957. A forceps delivery at his birth left Frank Sinatra with permanent scars on his cheek and a ruptured eardrum, the latter being the reason most often given for his exemption from military service during World War II. Eleanor Parker replaced Donna Reed in the movie, who had cinematic history with both the director and star Frank Capra had directed Reed in It's a Wonderful Life while Frank Sinatra and Reed had co-starred in From Here to Eternity with Oscar honored performances. Reed exited the project when the estimate of the film's upcoming Miami Beach shoot went from five weeks to ten weeks, longer than the Donna Reed show could spare its star. In the 1959 movie A Hole in the Head, Frank Sinatra, known for his music career, collaborated with Bobby Troop, who later found success as a solo singer. Troop was previously part of Sinatra's Tommy Dorsey and his orchestra. Emery Parnell, whose parents were James Daniel Parnell and Laura Mindrum, also played a role in the film. Carolyn Jones, recognized for her appearances in culturally significant films like The War of the Worlds, A House of Wax, The Big Heat, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, and How the West Was Won, contributed to the cast. Her roles in these movies have been acknowledged by the Library of Congress. Overall, the movie brought together talents from various backgrounds, contributing to its cultural significance. In a classic film featuring an ensemble cast, a group of talented actors showcase their skills, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. 
One standout performer introduced a captivating coin-flipping move, inspired by another famous actor's signature gesture. Despite past conflicts, this actor and his counterpart collaborated seamlessly, contributing to the film's success. Alongside them, another renowned figure, known for his achievements in various entertainment fields, added his charisma to the mix, earning multiple stars for his versatile talent. Additionally, a distinguished actor's stellar performance earned him recognition on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Together, these individuals brought the story to life, leaving an undeniable impact on the world of entertainment. Their collective effort in the film stands as a testament to the magic that occurs when exceptional talents collaborate. This narrative transcends time, leaving a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. In the film, Frank Sinatra initially considered Barbara Nichols for the role of Doreen, but ultimately cast Joy Lansing, sparking an on-set romance that lasted beyond filming. Sinatra played a pivotal role in Lee J. Cobb's life, aiding him during a challenging period by securing him a part in a film and supporting him financially. Emery Parnell, a cast member, is the father of actor James Parnell. These connections between the cast members add depth to the production. Edward G. Robinson's distinct voice in A Hole in the Head served as inspiration for Chief Clancy Wiggum on The Simpsons. Frank Sinatra, a notable figure in the film, had a star-studded funeral in 1998, attended by numerous Hollywood icons. During a BBC interview in the 1950s, Sinatra made it clear that questions about his personal life, particularly his relationship with Ava Gardner, were off-limits. The focus remained on his music and career as requested by the respectful interviewer, David Jacobs. Robinson and Sinatra's contributions to the film industry continue to be celebrated today. Back in 1959, a movie with Frank Sinatra came out, and there's more to it than just what you see on the screen. Mia Farrow, who used to be married to Sinatra, has wondered about who her son Ronan's dad really is. Even though Ronan looks a lot like Sinatra, some people say Sinatra couldn't be his dad because he had an operation so he couldn't make babies. Behind the scenes, there was some drama with the writing of the movie. Even though Arnold Schulman was the main writer, the director, Frank Capra, got someone else, Miles Connolly, to help fix up the script. You can see Connolly's influence in the part with the racetrack, which wasn't in the original play. Sinatra was also part of a famous group called the Rat Pack with other big stars like Dean Martin and Sammy Davis Jr. They acted together in a couple of movies like Ocean's Eleven and Sergeant's Three. All these behind the scenes stories make a hole in the head more interesting than just a movie. It's like a peek into the lives of famous people and how they work together to make something cool.